The Brooklyn Nets have started off the season 7-4, and four, in spite of not having Kyrie Irving and with James Harden playing below his normal level. Brooklyn's offense is ranked in the bottom half of the league as stagnation, poor spacing, and a lack of paint touches have all plagued the Nets. And yet, they're still winning 63% of their games. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and do that below. But today, we're discussing Brooklyn's defense, which has trended upward since head coach Steve Nash made two specific changes. Since DeAndre Bembry and Bruce Brown were inserted into the lineup against the Washington Wizards on October 25th, the Nets have been the third best defense in the league. And aside from both these dudes being great, great defenders, a big part of Brooklyn's success has been altering its scheme. Last season, the Nets switched almost every single pick and roll like Blake Griffin and Bruce Brown do here, leaving Brown to guard Bam Adebayo. This year, instead of switching, the Nets have dropped the big Blake Griffin into the paint at about the free throw line. This does two things. For one, it allows Griffin to backtrack and stay level with the ball handler, Trey Young, and the roller, Clint Capella, without putting the Nets in any unfavorable mismatches, where a secondary defender comes in, thereby putting the Nets in rotation. But more importantly, it allows Brown to showcase his best defensive skill set, recovery. Using small choppy steps to catch up to the ball handler and contest the shot with a rear view contest from behind. Brown is the best screen navigator on the team, able to get skinny over the pick only to circle around Trey Young's body for the contest. Notice the route he takes. He maneuvers around Trey Young's body to directly pressure his trademarked right-handed floater. Brown is notoriously good at memorizing the scouting report. He knows what's coming, that floater. Brown can also appropriately mix in unders by going under the screen to take a better route to cutting off his opponent going to the basket. And with the new rule, in place, he can play with more physicality, using his body as a battering ram. That's a hallmark of Brown's defensive profile, who is built like a running back. Speaking of that, he's great at using his body as a blockade to cut off lanes to the rim, with a 6'9 wingspan to finish plays off with contests. Only nine guards in the league have contested more two-point shots than Brown, one of them being his teammate Joe Harris. Now, all of this isn't to say that Brown is never switching screens anymore because in off-ball situations, Brown is still very active as a switch guy. Here, Kevin Durant is behind the play on this Toronto Raptors stagger screen set. So Brown audibles a switch, sprints around the screens, and then turns a ridiculous corner. Seriously, I cannot begin to explain how difficult it is to change directions like this at full speed, and then bother the shot with a really good contest. If you can't tell already, Brown has taken a leap as a defender in every facet, going around around screens better than ever and using his size and wingspan at his disposal. But the beauty of this year's Nets is that not only do opponents have to deal with 30 minutes of Bruce Brown starting, they also have to deal with DeAndre Bembry coming off the bench. Bembry, signed this offseason as a free agent after a successful tenure in Toronto, isn't quite as good at navigating screens, and he doesn't use his body like a bowling ball like Bruce Brown, but he still pressures the hell out of ball handlers. So what's his secret? his hands. The dude has vicious hand-eye coordination with hands that work as paddles when skying for blocks. His hands especially come in handy in post-up or isolation situations. If an opponent shows the ball for even a second, Bembry wraps him up like a Christmas present to force a steal. He's quite good at flashing his hands, timing these swipes without fouling, making it very annoying to dribble the basketball in his general vicinity. Though, like Brown, he has a really keen sense for how to cut off opponents' driving lanes, forcing Herder into this awkward stretching layup. But where Bembry really stands out is as a free safety. He is a terrifying off-ball defender, averaging 1.1 steals in just 14.2 minutes per game. And he's recording deflections at the fifth best rate in the league. Bad passes in passing lanes are basically history. And what I love about him is that he isn't afraid to gamble. Here, he looks like a wide receiver when stretching out for this catch. Again, he's got really good hand-eye coordination. I have to wonder if Bembry's aggressiveness as an 
an off-ball player is rubbing off on Bruce Brown, who too is freelancing a bit more away from the ball, recording the most steals of his career this season. And then finally, we have to end with DeAndre Bembry's closeouts because, oh boy. On this play, he sinks down to Dwayne Dedman when Millsap helps over before flying out to Max Struess at the three. This is just an incredible display of athleticism and yup, you guessed it, hand-eye coordination. And then this might just be one of the best closeouts you'll see all season. Bembry closes out at full speed without flying by or fouling. He then finishes the play by avoiding Gallinari's pump fake and forcing the Atlanta big man into an awkward three-point shot. The Nets have switched their defensive scheme on pick and rolls to drop coverage, and to me, what's interesting is the philosophy behind that decision. Most teams run drop to funnel opposing ball handlers to an all-world shot swatter. Think like Rudy Gobert. But the Nets are using drop to feature the strength of their guards, all of whom can navigate screens, recover with pristine body control, and contest shots with magnificent hand-eye coordination. These two guys specifically, Bruce Brown and DeAndre Bembry deserve a ton of credit for what they're doing both on and off the ball. Brown is a brutally strong on-ball defender, whose knowledge of angles combined with his ability to cover short distances in quick bursts makes him a total pick-and-roll pest. While Bembry is more of an off-ball demon, with hands that prey on opponents' mistakes. And while they both approach the game differently, together they've helped change this Nets identity to a defensive stronghold. But with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, and go ahead and share this on Twitter and Reddit. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter. All of my work is there. And go check out my podcast, The Clear Out, brought to you by Blue Wire Podcast. This show has been an incredibly exciting venture for me this year, and I hope you guys agree. It's available on all streaming platforms. And then, as a token of appreciation, if you appreciate the work I did on this video, go ahead and head over to my Patreon, which effectively acts as a tip jar for me this year. There are options to give $2 and $5 a month. And and of course, you get to view all of my videos early. But that's all I've got today, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace!